Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. So this week, I wanted to make a video about volcanoes. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I would take a Star-Lord New Thor 7 moment out in this day. In these days... Every day feels like a month, and then every week feels like a year, and 2016 felt like a decade, and today it's real heavy. Everything's real heavy, man. Real heavy. So allow me to atlas away and try to be strong enough not to mention how much I need a good back rub. Ladies, ma'am, ma'am, while the social networking science crowd have their hearts a flutter. With gravitational wave news. I personally was blown away by atmospheric gravity wave news data. And this comes to us from Randy Bresnik on Twitter. He's an astro comrade. Comrade? I don't know if he's Russian. Sounds Russian. But as far as I know, every Russian I've ever met was cool. They're tough and no bullshit when they have a sense of humor. So, trying to get along with people is what I do. And I'm not always good at it. So here goes. We were talking about the sun. It was something I was saying to somebody else the other day. That if you compare the auroras now compared to what they were even two years ago, or definitely five years ago, that covers the solar maximum period as well. I'd like say it's the sun acts weird, the weather acts weird, and the people act weird. And I think the auroras represent the sun's energy entering the planet as good as anything out there. And so when our astro comrade tweeted, I'm constantly amazed by the beauty of our planet. The waves of this aurora are soothing and magical. And I gotta say, through all the craziness and the madness that's gone on from 2012 till now, one of the things that really helps me keep faith is the auroras. To see these magical, beautiful color shapes, sizes, forms, it's, yeah, it's beautiful, it's magical, it's majestic, and it's proof to me that God and science can coexist together. And even with my own eyes, I've seen a lot more color in the sky. And people may say, oh, that's a chemtrail. I'm not denying that they're doing solar radiation management, but I definitely don't agree that all the color is by what man is doing. But then you know my scientific solar theory. The sun is pregnant. And like any pregnant woman, she glows and has more color and is more radiant. So that's what I think we're dealing with. And you can think of planets themselves like dragons or phoenixes. Or I guess if you want to, you can think of them as a big hydrostatic equilibrium ball of elements either way you know there's different ways to describe the same things so this video right here if you have been following auroras it's one of the best aurora videos i've ever seen and by no coincidence i don't think insane waves of the aurora there we go every sun's acting crazy earth weather acts crazy and then people act crazy too and this brought to us by anthony siciliano at ams weather on twitter hurricane maria looks decent as the sun descends over the western Atlantic. Low shear, though cool SSTs. Strong westerlies about to boot her ass east. Yeah, definitely let's hope so. But look at it in the eye wall. You know, high pressure and low pressure is like the wheels of weather. And so that low pressure spot in the middle it might be a combination of low and high. It just, that looks pretty interesting, to say the least. We're seeing some definite atmospheric waves on many levels, as weather is a Dynamic, magnificent, magical process. Brought to us by God, Mother Nature, the Sun, the Moon, the stars, and science. Plus the planets. And yes, the end science was part of the, my geoengineering joke. If you can make geoengineering jokes. But I definitely do not think man ever controls the weather. 100%. You know? You know? And if you believe that, well, I recommend you do a little solar watching on your own. So, I just wanted to bring you a semi- non-doomy story and there you go how's the atmosphere oh it's unstable but then the auroras make me think everything might be more stable than we think it's always darkest before the dawn and if the auroras are out how dark is it really we can't let civilization collapse on our watch i gotta go to norway or anywhere and see auroras with my own eyes while drinking whiskey out of a flask now granted it doesn't have to be a flask and it doesn't have to be whiskey but you get the idea and sure yeah it would be great hold the hands of a strong, beautiful, smart, badass woman. Well, I said 
stupid shit like, oh my god, that is beautiful. I'm cold. Let me bury my nose in your neck. Okay, so peace out. <laughs> god bless everyone. Anyway, okay, peace out. Talk to y'all soon. Stay cool. Don't give up, Charlie Brown. Hi, I'm Thor. I make videos.